Okay, I'm playing seven ages. This is the end of turn three. So what happened this turn, this is all that's left of the Roman Empire. Um, that's the Chang. So this, the board's been, not that there was a whole lot on the board anyway, but it's been thinned out. And uh, what happened this turn is, um, the blue player was first uh, to act. Um, they did a destiny. Um, they're player number one. Player number two was purple. They did a production. So they actually went first with their production. And the Romans thought they better produce something because they were going to get hammered here if they didn't. So they ended up only producing basically enough to buy. Um, they just pr produced uh, and bought one. They needed to buy a unit. So they bought one unit to stick on here um, to defend their capital. Um, so yeah, that was all they did. Um, the uh, yellow player also did a production, and they were going to score huge with their production. They were going to get 18. So the green player decided to play drought on their production, which meant they only got production from cities um, or oil. So um, they ended up getting a total of one instead of 18. So because of that, they decided the Chang, or the yellow player decided to play his gold mine, because he would have lost all but two of his units had he not done that. So he played gold mine, which he would have rather waited uh, until he did it in a civilized, because he would have gotten 30 gold, but he had to play it to get the 15 gold so that he could have afford to keep his men and buy some. So he did that. So that was quite an interesting turn for them. Um, then the green player did a maneuver. Um, they attacked the Romans. Um, actually, the Romans bought a couple of units because they had some here as well, and there was a battle, and the Romans lost drastically in the battle. Um, so uh, the Romans are down to that. Um, so I don't think they're going to be long for this world, uh, which is amazing, consider they're the Romans. Shit, they got... They're good. They should never have attacked... Um, when they their first turn, I screwed that up. But oh well. So so these two are battling each other, and the, the Shang are kind of just being the Shang in China. Um, the uh, the blue did their destiny, and uh, so they picked new cards, and they really have no empire that they can create. So they got nothing from their destiny. Um, the purple, they did a destiny as well, and uh, um, they got uh, um, they got they got an empire that they can create, so that's kind of nice. Um, the uh, green did a destiny as well. I'm trying to think what the yellow player did besides um, the yellow player, they, they should, I guess they should have been able to play a destiny too. Um, and I screwed that up. So I'm going to have to do that because they should get a destiny. That was a mistake on my part. Whoops. I'm glad I caught that. They need to do a destiny because they did their, they did their production and then they, they don't have, they don't have four empires, so they should get to do a destiny. So they will do a destiny. Um, anyway, everyone else did a destiny as well, and uh, 
the green, they uh, they did not get an empire that they can create as well. And I hope I'm just not pay as I'm talking. I hope I, I'm pointing this thing at stuff that makes sense. Anyway, this is the this is the glory. The glory was uh, zero for the blue. Blue's got nothing that time. Um, the the purple. Purple got one. Rome got all of one for its capital. Uh, yellow got three, so yellow is in the lead. And green, uh, green got two, so green is tied with blue now. And uh, so I increased the progress, but I've got to do the destiny here for uh, yellow before we go on to turn four. So anyway, that was turn three. Um, not much on the board. It's crazy. There's nothing in Egypt, Mesopotamia, uh, the cradle of society. It's in Europe. It's uh, it's weird. But anyway, okay. I will move on to turn four.